lights, camera, oh, action. See, only two of these light up, do you see that? Can you see how only two of those light up? And I've got one, two, three, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. Okay, here's the reason why. It's because I installed this like really crusty outlet up there because I don't have a switch box for all of my lights in the shop. So that's what we're gonna do this week. Over here, like, like I said, the light's terrible. But over here by the sink, all right, we're gonna build like a small cabinet thing, maybe with a drawer, and then have light switches and little LED indicators, and I'll be able to light up all the lights in the shop. Does that make sense? Basically what I'm gonna do is just overcomplicate making a light switch. The switch box is going to be able to control two bars of lights at a time. So 10 lights, so I'll have five switches for all of my lights and dust collection, which is in the basement. That's gonna be on a switch. Table saw, that's gonna be on a switch. One outlet here, one outlet here, that's gonna be on a switch. That one's gonna be on a switch. So I'm just gonna have a lot of different options. It's like a control panel, okay? It's gonna be really cool. First things first, let me get my, you know what? I'm just gonna knock it out really quick because if you wanna know how to build a cabinet on YouTube, this one, mm, we'll do our best and let's build a quick cabinet and then we'll get to the complicated stuff, which isn't really that complicated, it's easy. It's all pretty easy. breeze through this cabinet build because that's not really the meat of the project. The meat of the project is the electronics that are gonna go in the cabinet to control the lights and the other outlets in here. And I think I've got a handle on what I'm gonna do. So check out what I've got. So I picked up these project boxes and the reason for that was I need two five gang boxes for all my light switches. And the five gang boxes were like $20, but these old work project boxes are only like 79 cents a piece. And what you can do is just take the sides off and connect them all. And they're also like really adjustable and have wire clamps and stuff. So then I got illuminating light switches. The idea here is when they're in the off position, they light up red so you can see them. And then when they're in the on position, I have these 110 volt LED lights that I got. So basically the idea here is when they're in the off position, they'll be red. And when they're in the on position, it'll be obvious which ones are on and which ones are off. So first things first, and that's just to connect all these project boxes and then try to figure out how we're gonna put them in the cabinet.
Okay. Oh, that's bright, huh? So, as you can see, I installed a motion detector for the LED, so when I walk into the room, it lights up, you can kind of see, but most of all, it looks really cool and you can see all the wires inside, so that was kind of the idea there. Check this out. Five light switches on top, all these green LEDs, these all control the lights. Like I said, there's ten lights, so there's five switches to each light. Down here, I've got outlet south, that controls outlet south. So when I hit that switch, this outlet comes on. Outlet north. Controls outlet north. That's this one up here. It's right next to the table. I control my table saw with it. That's kind of like a safety switch or another safety switch for the table saw itself. The yellow one that says dust collection. That's the dust collection. So this is really the final product. You can see I've got the little cabinet. It's got a door, not a drawer. Inside I'll be able to put, you know, binders or important documents or I mean, I don't know. You could, you could store anything in there. Just you can't see it from the outside. Two things I want to address, which I just didn't get to in this video. I'll do it in the future because they're kind of safety issues. These open gaps here, I really need to make like a switch plate cover. Something like that goes over your regular light switches in your house. Again, I'll make it out of clear plastic, but I really need to cover up all these live wires. And then along the same lines underneath, this is all just open. So I really need, again, to maybe put in some pegboard that might look cool or some more acrylic or something just so this whole thing is encapsulated with that acrylic and you can't get your fingers in there or you know what have you safety first right safety second in this case it's no big deal we'll take care of it but there it is i'm so happy with this thing it's really cool it looks awesome when all the lights are off you can see all light switches turn red when they're off so you can see them in the night when the lights aren't on but that's pretty much it for this one. It took a while, it was kind of tedious, but I'm pumped about it. If you want to try something like this, just remember when you're working with electricity in your house, always, always, always turn the breaker off and always be safe. If you don't know what you're doing, just hire an electrician, tell him what you want to be done. He might help you. I don't know if this thing's up to code, but it's really, <laughs> I can't address the code, so I can almost guarantee this thing is not up to code, but it's cool. Anyway, build your own if you love it. As always, trust your guide, even when it comes to household electronics.